All right, check this out, Wilson. I'm sitting at home, right? I'm on the couch. And, oh, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I was just sitting here talking to old Wilson here. I was telling him about the other day. I'm sitting on the couch, right? I'm sitting here minding my own business, and I'm watching the Talk To Me podcast. You know, the podcast nobody asked for, but I give it to you anyway. The one you should be subscribed to? Yeah, I'm watching that, right? And then my wife walks in and says, Hey, babe. Yeah. Time to clean the house. Oh, did we do that like the other week? That was in February. So a long time. Well, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna dust mm. and you're going to No, 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 no. Yes. You know I don't like sleeping. Look, rock, paper, scissors, loser gets this broom. Oh psh, ain't nothing but a thing. Let's go. <laughs> now get to sweeping, buddy. Fuck! <laughs> There? It is what it is. <laughs> Whatever. Seriously, man, it went down just like that. Come on, Wilson, you know I wouldn't even lie to you like that, bro. Fellas, I, I know at this point you're asking yourself, hey, how do I get me one of these UP vacuums so I can have my wife do me like that? Well, bro, I'm not gonna sit here and make medical claims, okay? I, I cannot promise you anything, but what I will say is, you gotta check out these vacuums from Eufy, man. Eufy sent these over for me to try, and it turns out they have kind of enhanced my, uh, my marriage, you know what I'm saying? So, so let me go ahead and show you these things, man. This is the, this, you know what? I haven't used a hand vac in literally years. Like I didn't know I needed a hand vac until I had a hand vac. This is the H30, man. And this thing has got some serious power to it. I don't have any attachment, uh, attachments on it right now, but you could probably use it just like this. All you gotta do is just charge it up. Of course, it's got this detachable battery. Just like that, you just bam, just like that. Then you put it on eco or max mode. Then you just tap the button. Good. Do you hear all that power? That's that Tim the Tool Man Taylor type of power right there. Yeah, man, this thing is actually super light by itself. And of course, like I said, I don't have an uh, attachment on here, but it does come with a slew of items that you can attach to it. So this is the powered brush attachment. You see a brush right there. You got your little velvet right here. It's kind of like a lint remover type of material. Then you got your prongs right here because this is actually uh, motorized. And the reason why I have to emphasize that is because most vacuums that have a brush attachment, it, it relies on the suction from the vacuum to spin the brushes. Mm, this one don't work like that. This one is actually powered and has a motor in here powering up the brush. That means with the other ones, when you put it on something and start vacuuming, it doesn't really do that great of a job because you know it kind of just slows it down because all you have is the air uh, working the vacuum or working the brush. This one, it's motorized, so it actually has a lot of power and suction to it. Next, we got a short extension with a little vacuum and brush that just clips on like that. You just put this right in there and then you got yourself a nice handy little, you know, clean up device where you just kind of stick it in crevices and stuff like that and get your stuff going. Or if you don't need a brush, you can just kind of use it like this. And this will work great on cars and stuff like that. This is gonna be your bare floor attachment. Once again, you got that velvety lint remover type of material going right there. Then you have some roller wheels that will keep you from damaging your wood floors or your ceramic tiler and stuff like that. Then it just sucks in the air through these open ports or it sucks in the debris through these open ports but I'm not gonna put this away because you do also get these little like moist mopping pads, which actually Velcro to this plastic piece right here. Do not throw this away if you get this vacuum because all you do is just kind of pop it in, wait a minute, pop it in just like that. And then 
you have these open ports and then you put the little moist pad on there so you can actually wet mop and suck up the debris through these ports that are still open right there. So I'll put that to the side. You got two extensions. You don't have to use them both, but if you want to have that, that long game, you know what I'm saying? You can attach them both and get way up in the corner of the ceiling like you saw me doing earlier in my memory recap. For this thing to be so small, it really does have a ton of power. It also has this washable, reusable filter that comes apart in two different stages. And you can just wash this out and re or bang it out and then pop it back in there and then put it back on there and plop this back on. It's a very simple device to use, man. And the fact that it's this small, this lightweight, and you get 20 minutes worth of vacuuming time out of this thing, if you're not done vacuuming whatever it is you need to vacuum, in 20 minutes, then you're doing this wrong, man. And even with the largest attachment on it, which is that motorized brush, it's still really lightweight and easy to maneuver. That means you can give this thing to your kids and tell them to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Put their little butts to work. But if you hate sweeping and vacuuming even half as much as I do, you really gonna appreciate this baby right here. This is the Eufy X8 with twin turbine technology. <laughs> Seriously, man, this thing's got enough power to clean up debris from a construction site. At first glance, it looks like every other RoboVac out there. You got your charging button, power button, and your spot cleaning button, and your Wi-Fi connection indicator right there. Got your bumper pad on the front and sides, but there's something I noticed on the front. The sensor in the front that kind of senses where it's at is kind of recessed into the bumper. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. This is going to be my, I think, fourth. Uh, robo vacuum and by far this is the best one not only because of the physical attributes but the way it's connected to the app or the the stuff that you get within the app connectivity but let's go ahead and keep taking a look around the exterior of this thing let me flip it over okay you see my wife's hair right there that's a pure grossness okay between my wife my dog doesn't really shed okay he sheds like once a year but my wife she sheds she sheds like 24 hours a day. it's amazing this woman is not bald yet and all her hair ends up in the vacuum. So it's right here. So we just take this out just like that. And we'll look at all that grossness right there. But I wanted to show you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm dumping all this out. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> it's like cracker crumbs, dog food. There's a lot of stuff. Man. I've been using the vacuum, bro. <laughs> you just, this is what you do. You just press this little blue button right here. And then you pull out the, uh, oh, man, that is so gross. This is happening on my video. <laughs> All right, so whatever you do, don't pull out the, the, the cartridge and do what I did, okay? Do it the right way. <laughs> Anyway, you can see I've been using the vacuum. I got a lot of grossness here. Most RoboVacs do come with a little brush to clean out the dust bin and cut the hair out of the brush, but this one actually has a home right there. I've really never seen that before. It just clips on and lives right there on the dust bin. That way it's there when you need it instead of, instead of having to go find your junk drawer and fumble through all that stuff. But let's open this up. Oh my God, that is pure grossness, dude. Look at this. This thing has a way of really compacting the dirt and dust into the bin. That way you don't have to change it out as often. I swear to you, my last RoboVac, every time I went to go start it manually, it would say, please clean out the dust bin. God dang it, you just did this yesterday. Like, I want to go more than just like one or two days without cleaning my dustbin. But that's enough about all the filth that's in my house. Man, that is super gross. I got to get this cleaned up. Okay, now we'll talk about the app. I love the app for this thing. Did you know? Did um, Okay, maybe you did know, but this is my first time seeing this. This thing can actually map out your house on two floors. I don't know if it'll do more than two, but I know it will do two floors of mapping. And then you can go into the app and tell it, hey, this is the base, right? I need you to go in the kitchen and clean up Raylan's mess because he left some dog food right there. You can actually tap the location of that mess and it will go there and wait for your next command, whether you want to spot clean or start cleaning the whole house from there. And then it'll go back. It just kind of makes a beeline to where you told it to go. Or you can do some, you know, time spot clean or whatever you want to do. The app is so robust. The fact that you can section off your house by room and floors and map everything out. And so far, I have not had a problem with this thing returning to home, which has always been a problem with RoboVac, simply because either A, they just get lost. And that's actually happening like, I don't know, 85% of the time, they just get lost in the house, okay? And B, of course, you probably have some wires or something, you know, and it got tangled up in them. But 
UV actually gives you a few zip ties in here. I think there's like five or six, looks like five, five zip ties. So you need to tidy up your little mess behind your TV stand. That way the X8 doesn't get caught behind your, you know, dresser and stuff like that. Every time I come home, I expect to find my vacuum lodged in my couch or like at the bottom of the couch or, you know, just not at the base, then I have to go hunt it down. But this one seems to find its way home throughout my whole bottom floor. <laughs> and Raylan hasn't attacked it, so hey, I guess it's welcomed in my family. Either way, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I clean like a man, okay? And that means thorough, okay? I know what you was thinking, men don't clean very thorough. I've cleaned thorough, dang it. And I'm really having a good time using this H30 and X8. Well, I don't really use the X8. The X8 just does what it does. This thing is really smart. It's incredibly smart, especially once you unlock that app and, and do all the stuff it's capable of doing. But this thing is super handy, the, the H30. Awesome stuff, man. Hey, like I said, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know a clean house when I see one, and mine usually isn't, but it has been lately. <laughs> all right, y'all get out of here. Keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, y'all still here? Look, man, the video is over. But if y'all still want to hang out, I'm getting ready to head over to my podcast. It's called Talk To Me. The podcast nobody asked for, but I'm giving it to you anyway. So go ahead and go on your phone and go on there and, and uh, yeah, click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then go to the, uh, the Talk To Me Clips channel and hit the, yeah, the notification and the subscribe. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see y'all when I get there. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?